Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Funnel Factor, where we break down the landing pages of our favorite internet marketers, and we're going to do the same today. So today we are working through Russell Brunson's .com secrets landing pages, or landing page, excuse me, and we're going to move on to the next factor. Okay, yesterday we went through um, like the, the, the content that is on the page and what should be on a page, and we were looking for those things in Russell's pre Russell's landing page. So real quick, before we get started, if you are here, I see Tanya's here. I see, uh, let's see, we've got McCall here. If you are here with me live, put hashtag live down in the comments. I'm gonna get our timer started so that we can get moving. Now, I don't know that we're gonna take up the full 15 minutes today, but that's my cutoff time, okay? Just like yesterday, I totally ran out of time, but I wanna be, um, I wanna keep these short and make sure that you guys know when you tune in, it's not gonna take me forever to get through what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna move into the landing page. So whenever I'm looking at someone's landing page, website or funnel, and they've asked me to look at it and see if, uh, where, like, where can we make improvements? How can we make this work better? How can I get more leads? How can I get more sales? There are five main factors that I look at, and I call this the trust test, T-R-U-S-T. -T. And today we're on you, so it's, it's upscale so if you can put hashtag upscale in the comments then we can find all the upscale videos whenever you want and we what what that means is we're looking for our landing pages websites funnels and we're gonna talk about websites here in just a moment specifically um, probably tomorrow but uh, what we're looking for is things that look professional they look high end so when you think of upscale think of high end right we want it to look like a credible, legitimate business. Whether you built it yourself or you paid someone to build it, it doesn't matter. What you need to do is make it look like you are a legit business. And sometimes there's like, you know, there's templates out there. I realize that even within the, within the ClickFunnels area, like there's tons of templates to use. They're a great place to start in knowing like, like what should I start to like gather to put onto my page. But if your page still looks like a template when you're done with it, it's only doing you a disservice. So while here on Funnel Factor, we are, we're, we're not all about how something looks. Like it's not always, it's not, it's not just how it looks. It's more of the structure. But today we are going to talk about how it looks because the truth is design matters. Design matters. Um, I want you to think about it this way when you are going out on a first date with someone and you're meeting them for the very first time, like they're picking you up, you have no idea. Uh, maybe it's a blind date, maybe it's not, but it's the first time you're meeting this person. You open up your door and you see them and you see that they're like dressed in like dirty clothes, all torn up, like they just got off of like a really hard day of work and like, I don't know, just like really, really dirty, right? Is that leaving you the very first impression, like a good impression? No, like, like, let me know in the comments. Is that something you would want to see opening your door to on a first date? Probably not. That's what, what your landing page is. This is the very, this is oftentimes the first or within the first few times of meeting you, uh, it's leaving an impression on your people. And if it looks templated, if it looks sketchy in any sort of way, people judge it so fast and click off so fast if you can get people to stay on your page long enough to read your really awesome headline that's gonna hook them in, or watch your video, or read the copy that you spent so much time on, or even see your amazing offer, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what any of those things are because they clicked off the page because it looks like a sketch website. It looks like a sketchy funnel, right? We need people to stay. So today we're talking about, uh, mostly about graphics and design, because so many times I have people come to me and they're like, like my my funnel's not working what can we do to make it better and i take a look at it and i'm like well it looks it, it, it's like it's one of a few things it either looks super like stale and like uh boring and like just there's no visual interest at all it's just like they literally just copied and pasted in their google doc of copy and like added a button and it was good like they thought it was gonna be great for them uh and that's not true the other situation that happens is that they do, they do have graphics, but they're not that great of graphics. They look like they're homemade. 
They look like something just someone pieced together and they're not very professional looking. And that really like takes away the value of your offer. It takes away the value of your business. Not necessarily like it's the perceived value, right? Not necessarily that it's making your stuff less valuable, but the perceived value of when people are first seeing your offer, seeing your page, if it doesn't look good, if it doesn't look high end upscaled, it really diminishes the perceived value of what you are trying to do. So we're gonna just go through Russell's page here and I wanna make sure that you guys are with me, you guys can hear me good. Tanya is here, let me know. Oh, I need to scroll down on the comments. Sue's here, awesome. Okay, so first thing that we notice, we've got, and we're gonna ignore the video because Russell's got a team of people behind him that make really, really awesome videos. So I'm not really gonna focus on that, but I do want to point out, like, I don't know if we can refresh this. Let me refresh real quick before the video completely loads. You can see the graphics behind that, right? Isn't that cool? But they're not really showing, right? The, the intent is to have a really cool effect where it looks like they're tucked behind the video, which I thought was really, really awesome. These are literally just the drawings of Russell's frameworks that he has in his book. And he grabbed those. Put them, they put whoever did, I don't know if he did it or his team did it, but they put it together on just some really simple, simple graphics. There's a pop up and, and put it behind the video. Like that's a really cool effect. Super easy to do too. So I really liked that touch that he did. Okay. Now bring your focus down to the book itself. Now this looks like it's a photo because this is an actual tangible book that you receive in the mail. So I imagine that someone came and, and, you know, stacked up the books, put the one in front of it and made like, and took this picture, right? What happens if you don't have an actual tangible thing to ship somebody? What if you have an ebook that you're giving away or charging some money for? What if you have um, just a bunch of information products, which is probably what you have because that's uh, typically who's watching me in these videos. That's typically who I am working with are people that have information products. What happens then? Well, we still need some graphics because it's so important to have a visual representation of what someone's buying. Like if Russell's like, I'm selling you a book and then like never put a picture of a book on here, it'd be like, uh, okay, but like, what am I getting? Like, I understand, like it's a little bit different because I understand I'm getting a book, but what if it's like you're selling a, a course and you have like maybe even some workbooks and some PDFs that you're giving people and maybe you have all those things listed out but it's so much more powerful when you are able to put like a graphic to show what you're getting. That's why you commonly see when, when it's done right, you commonly see graphics that look like this on funnels that are be, are like doing really well and successful is that they always have some sort of mock-up graphic of everything that you are getting. And this just happens to be, you're getting a book. So there's not a whole lot to show, but just because it's just a book, doesn't mean they didn't go all out and make a really cool graphic for it. Look, they've got like a stack of books. They've got the back of the book. They show that you can have the book on your um, on your digital device. We've got those framework images back there. We've got some headphones in there. Like they could have just put a picture of a book, right? They could have just taken this section of this graphic, just a book and put it on here. But does that look as valuable as this whole thing does? Like this looks more valuable to me. It's like, well, yeah, I understand I'm getting one book, but look at like the frameworks that I'm gonna be getting. Oh, and I can listen to the audio version, like really, really cool. So I'm gonna scroll back up because I skipped over a lot of graphics that I wanna go over. But bottom line is that you need to have some sort of visual representation of what you're selling, even if it's a digital thing, even if there is no thing, like if there is no, like maybe it's a coaching service or something, you still need to have a logo or something to represent what you're selling people because people are visual. People want to see what they are getting for their money, even if it's an intangible thing. So that is, as we broke down on Tuesday, was that yesterday, we were talking about uh, what Russell was doing here with his story, right? He was connecting with people. He was connecting emotionally with people. And while the story itself is great, I love that he found some pictures from however many years ago this was, five years ago, um, at that time, like they were documenting, they had pictures to show. So he was able to put in some pictures 
that go with his story. Like, look, we I could tell you that we were in a small office five years ago, but what if I showed you? I showed you what life was like back then. How cool is that? And not only that, but uh, look at how, like, the quality of these images. They have frames, they have shadowing. Like, he's up to the quality on how he is displaying these images. Again, he could have just loaded in his image and have it be a flat image, just, you know, your, your cropped, cut-out image right on there and do, like, two side-by-side side or one right underneath the other one. Does that look high-end? Does that look like he put time or his team put time in building this offer for someone that they know is gonna it's gonna help them we're all about building trust and upping our perceived value and then he went on and told more more story and grabbed screenshots to show like look I have like images to back up what I'm saying we're building up the trust and credibility Scrolling down, he goes into a little bit of some social proof stuff, but he's got images to show. If you've won awards or you have something that let like that elevates your status, that feel like okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, again, we've got a book, and I, I love it. Just it's a fun picture, right? It's a fun picture of him just holding up the book and showing it. This helps show his personality. It makes him a likable guy. And I really, I love that that's in here. Then we move into awards, right? We've got showing, rather than just showing like we've had, we've had 205,381 copies and we've had 789 people win our award. Like let's actually show people have won our award. Like that's way more powerful, right? Images are so, you know, you know the saying of a picture is worth a thousand words. It's true. It's true. Okay. So if you have pictures that are helping you to tell your story, put them in. And also I would say <clears throat> they are more powerful, and I think this goes without saying, but they're more powerful than stock images. But if you don't have pictures like Russell does, if you don't have pictures from when you're, you know, that go with your story, chances are you do. You could post a picture, you could put a picture up there of like, you know, you working away in your office or like being with your family or something. Chances are you have something you could use, but let's say you don't put a stock image up there that isn't cheesy and hokey, but still gets the emotion across. That's what the pictures are doing. They're help. They're helping to put people into these different emotional states. So we've got, we talked about this yesterday. Now we're in like this FOMO state, fear of missing out. Like, oh, I really want that award. Like, look at all those people that got those amazing awards. Like, I want that, right? And then uh, moving down, we've got the mock-up picture that we already went through. So I'm going to skip through. We only have about a minute and a half left. I want to show you any other graphics that he's got on here. But right now he's going into like the different things that are in his book, basically the chapter headlines and stuff. And, look, and then we've got another graphic. This is, um, let's see, he's got... A PDF so it, it's basically the same type of graphic but they've added in like mobile like look you can listen to it on your phone too and also you're gonna get like a PDF version that you can just read through it like if you're offering multiple ways to consume what you're buying put it on there like that that I didn't read anywhere I'm, I'm not even reading the copy of like oh you're gonna get this this and this I'm just looking at the picture and I see I'm gonna get or I could have the opportunity to I don't know if he's selling it all together at this time or if it's like an order bump or something but I have the opportunity to have an audio version I can read it on my e-reader I can read it like as a PDF and I get the actual book which is really really cool right and it's a hardcover book by the way awesome okay uh, video testimonials are always good All right now we go into the bonuses we've got 30 seconds left so even though he's got bonuses and they may not necessarily be, let's see if any, I think all of these are actual physical products. Uh, here we go. Funnel audibles. So I want you, I want to just point out like even this right here, I don't know. I don't know if he's actually sending a CD with this. I, I don't think so. But so I wanted to just show you like, even if it's not an actual tangible thing, he's got a visual representation of it here. And then we've got, um, I don't know if this is an actual, this is a challenge. So I don't think it's a physical product either. So this is a mock-up. This isn't an actual book. They put a cover onto a, a fake 
mock-up book and then they put it onto an e-reader. So again, really good graphics here. So I want you guys now to put down in the, oh, we made it to the end. We made it to the end today. <laughs> put down in the comments what your biggest takeaway was today on looking at Russell Brunson's .com secrets landing page and looking at the upscale, the graphics of it. That is factor number three in our trust test. Uh, everything that we are looking at while I'm doing these breakdowns is designed to up perceived value and to increase pe people's trust in you and your business. So your biggest takeaway and what you're going to go and apply to your own funnel strategy if you have a funnel. Um, if you have a website, um, stick around because I'm going to be talking about that I think tomorrow. We'll see. Um, and that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Come back tomorrow. We'll be doing another factor on Russell Brunson's .com secrets page. Take care.